Oh, hi, Amber. Oh, there's my wonderful friend from Wisconsin. So good to be with you. I'm just waiting for everybody to join. Come on in. Come on in, everyone. We're going to have a great time together. So excited. So excited to be with you. It's a super Tuesday. Every day is a great day, isn't it? Every day. We're alive today. God decided we are alive. And so that means that he's got something important for us to learn, to grow. And I'm so happy about that. Come on in, everyone. Hi. Hi, YouTube. I'm so glad you're there. Good morning, Amber. Good morning, Deborah. Uh, that's so good to see everybody joining in. One of the things I love, well, everybody who hosts a life group, Living by Faith, you know, they all, they usually make little snacks and just have a little bite to eat. Um, mm -hmm. I'm at Lisa's house and she makes this most delicious quiche. And so I'm mm -hmm. enjoying this. Hi, really? Crystal Nisi, my beautiful niece from Illinois. Great to see you today. Hey, guys, I woke up to this news early that there at 1 o'clock in the morning was that huge tornado in Nashville. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. no. All my family is safe, thank God, but we need to pray for everyone that it impacted mm -hmm. six people. Oh, no, I'm sorry, maybe six or seven I have lost their lives. Oh, no. And I, I don't know what level mm -hmm. of, a, of a tornado it was, but we need to pray. But, yes. uh, you know, my son lives in Nashville, all, Larry and Gloria, and all of their children mm -hmm. and families yes. live in Nashville. My cousin lives in wow. Nashville. So we have a, I have a lot of family in Nashville, but yeah. So Father, just be with yes, everyone yes. working mm -hmm. with that tornado right now. We just send our faith yes, there. Yes. We say, God, uh, be with those who've mm -hmm. lost loved ones. So difficult. Yes. And God, with all the EMTs and the fire yes. and the police and everyone uh, taking care yes. of that devastation of those buildings and homes, yes. keep them safe, God. Yes. Yes. And uh, thank you for for your vine protection that holds every one of us every yes. day. We are, we are favored and blessed of yes, God, yes, right? Yes, yes, we yes, live yes, in the favor and the blessing yes. of God. And as we've learned here in Galatians, that we are the seed and the heirs oh, of Abraham yes. Yes, and everything that God covenanted with Abraham is with us. Yes, yes, we walk in the covenant of yeah. Abraham. Thank you, Lord, for that remembrance early this morning. We yes. love you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Amen. So Amen. come on in, everyone. Um, hi, Clara. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm here with my friends, and I'm here with my friends on YouTube and on Facebook, and we are going to have a great study. Yeah. When I was praying about this yesterday, through Galatians, yeah. mm -hmm. and there's only six chapters in Galatians, all right. Mm -hmm. So we are now today in Galatians five. Mm -hmm. We're beginning Galatians five. And um, uh, the Holy Spirit said, you're going to just teach on that first verse. When I was oh, studying, amen. I started, you know, I preached Sunday morning. We had a wonderful day in the Lord's house. Yeah. But starting Sunday night, I'm studying and preparing for today. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Sunday night. And this, and yesterday morning, mm. the Lord was just like, no, you're only teaching on one verse today. So this mm -hmm. is going to be one of those days that we just teach on one verse. Hallelujah. Because I, I do, I do my best to pray and obey. Everybody uh -huh. say to me, pray and obey. Pray and pray and obey. obey. That's pray it. Obey. If your life with Christ can be boiled down to that, that's enough. Yes. Pray and obey. Yes. Get the Holy yes. Spirit. Yes. There is no other way to be happy in Jesus. Jesus. That's to trust That's and obey. Right. Yes. But we pray oh. and obey. We pr well, and praying is trusting. You know, yes. we're saying, God, yeah. you know, you got, you got me. Um, so we're going to just do one verse, but I encourage you to get your Bibles out. Turn it please to um, Galatians five, Galatians five, go ahead and spread out here. Mr. Jojo. Hi, Laura. How are you feeling, girl? I've been praying for you. I know you've been homesick. I'm uh, glad you're on with us today. Hi, beautiful LaDonna in Florida. I was just talking about you. I was just talking about you with a friend earlier this morning. We miss you. We love you. The whole gang. Give Essie a big hug from, from Pasta Landa. Growing so big. I know. Madison. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. All right, Galatians 5. Uh, we're going to do our receiving prayer here in just a moment, and then we are going to march in. So my name is Londa. I'm here to help you live by faith. That is what I do. Mm -hmm. I am here to help you live by faith. That is my assignment. Mm -hmm. 
My assignment is to help everybody. Here's my here's my life mission statement to help everyone of everyone I meet live a life of purpose on purpose for the glory of God and the multiplication of his kingdom. Remember that God's goal is always people. If your prayers don't take you to people, you're not really joining the heart of God. If your Bible study, if all you want to do is study and it never brings you to people, you've not joined the heart of God. If all you do is go to church with other Christians and never get out to where the people are, you've, you're, you're going to heaven, but you really are not living kingdom. Wow. Remember the theme of this year is living the kingdom of God. Let's right. say it together. Yeah. Living, living the kingdom, kingdom of God. God. Say it again. Living, living the, the kingdom, kingdom of God. God. It's not knowing it. It's not studying it. It's not just believing it. It's living it. Yeah. How mm-hmm. do you live the kingdom? Faith without works is dead. Mm-hmm. The works don't get you to Jesus. That's the whole point of mm-hmm. Galatians is being mm-hmm. freed from works and the law. Mm-hmm. But works prove that you've been saved. Yes. Mm-hmm. When you fall in love with Jesus, yes. you love what Jesus loves. Yes. And what yes. Jesus loves the most is people. people. So I have to have help you understand that if if all of this thing called the Christ life, if this thing of living the kingdom does not propel you, does not bring you, does not inspire you to be actually connecting with the people that Jesus came to save. It is not living the kingdom. You can sit in your prayer room and God needs our prayers. You can sit and study the word your whole life Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you can be in a closet. And yes, we should study the word of God. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, you, you'll be going to heaven, but you are not living kingdom. That's right. Because the very biblical measure of living the kingdom of God is joining God in his mission. What is his mission? To go. Everybody say go. Go. And make disciples. And make disciples. That's it. You've got to go. You cannot just sit and listen. Mm -hmm. You cannot just sit and study. You cannot just sit and pray. Mm -hmm. That's all part of the holy disciplines of a Christian life. But every one of those fasting, prayer, Bible reading, study, thank God we we must do all of those to get ourselves ready, but they all are a precursor. That's Mm -hmm. like, it's like going to the Super Bowl and once kickoff happens, you leave the game. Mm. I bought the tickets. I got the jersey. Yeah. I'm excited. I parked. Come on. I got the food yeah. and yeah. the game starts and you go home. There you mm. go. Yeah. How ridiculous would that be? Come on. But mm-hmm. that is where many believers are. Yes. They get ready and they go to church and they go, hey, I've done it. I've done my God time. Right. You aren't even in the parking lot, baby. You are not even getting started. If you are not in the game, what is the Come game? It's on. the kingdom. Yeah. The game is where the action is. Yes. The adventure is in connecting That's the love of Jesus yes. to the people he came to die yes. for. Amen. I'm a pastor, but I'm an evangelist. Amen. And we are all called. Yes. While that's one of my life assignments, don't don't say this is for Joel Osteen or my pastor or for Londa or for Joyce Meyer. No, this is for every believer. Yes, it is. You are called. You are chosen. You're a sent one. You're a messenger. So get out of your comfort zone and into the combat zone. Yeah, yeah. That is where the fun is. is. That's where the adventure is. Oh, man, we had an amazing class uh, for Royal School of Ministry last Thursday. And I gave them an assignment. I can't wait to hear back their assignments. But it's all about doing acts of love. See, we are Brent co-taught with me last at the Royal School of Ministry Mm -hmm. in this last class. And we talked about there's we all have this invisible wall Mm -hmm. in our day to day lives with people. Mm-hmm. And Brent taught, you know what Brent does? Hey, I'm practicing friendliness. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. today I'm practicing friendliness. My name is Brent. How are you doing? And everybody loosens up. You got to build yes. in these, yes. these icebreakers. Yeah, you got to be That's willing different. to talk to people you don't know. Yes. Why? Because they're the ones that need Jesus. Yes. You got to build a relationship yes. with people. Yes. Yes. Went to a restaurant last week and, uh, and, uh, but I had two servers that, Oh my word, did Jesus love on them? Did Jesus love on them? And it was the most exciting lunch I've had in a long time. You know why? Because it wasn't about there. I wasn't there to eat food. I was there at that point and that time for Mark and Lakita. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And neither of them are churchgoers. 
And I invited him to church. I hope to see him in church. I have Mark's phone number. I just haven't found it. But I'm going to call him. I'm going to hound him down like the holy hound of heaven. And uh, it was a God thing. But why? Because I was willing to get out of my box thinking. You are not here to be served even by servers. You're here to serve. Mm -hmm. You're here to bless them with the love of Jesus, to give them a word of encouragement everywhere you go. Hello, Pastor Carlos Buenos Dias. Yes. Oh, good. Oh, Rachel, you're going on your assignment tonight. Good for you. I see that very much. Wonderful. All right, we got we got to get started. Oh, you I know, think about Harriet Tubman, how she pulled the slaves out of slavery. Yes. But a lot of people were against slavery, but she went back and pulled them out. They all didn't want to come with her. Some of them were used to the yes. bondage, but she went in and yes. pulled them out as yes. many as she could. Yeah. And I always think about that as an evangelist. You're going out and you're pulling people out of you slavery. Has everybody, yeah. amen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you know what? Has that, that movie is very special mm-hmm. to me. Uh, go see that movie, yeah, Harriet. Powerful. Hmm. Powerful. Go see it. She never gave powerful it. movie. She never gave and it's about her life. Yeah. But Harriet Tumbenberg, where I preached last in Africa, was in Tumbenberg, North Africa. Ooh. Oh. The city was named after Harriet Tubman. Oh, oh wow! Amazing. Amazing. Harriet Amazing Tubman. Woman. I'm sorry, Harriet yeah. Tubman. Yeah, Tubmanburg yeah. in northern Liberia, which is where I preached last in Africa. Wow. I preached other places. So it, this whole movie just went oh, because I saw the sea of people and the people that were saved and the pastors. And you know, when I think of her, I think of what God did there in that in that crusade. Anyway, Ooh. we're all sent ones. Everybody say it with me. Say, I am. I am. A sent one. A sent one. I am God's A plan. I am God's A plan. There's no B or C. There's, There's no B or C. I'm it. I'm He's it. counting on me. He's counting on, on me. To get it right. To get it right. Did y'all listen to my message on Sunday? Some of you were there. No, I didn't. But God needs us to get it right. Yes, yes. he does. He needs mm-hmm. us to be his salt and light in this world Come today. On. So wherever you're traveling today, wherever you're going today, remember you are appointed, you are anointed, you are his sent one, you are his best idea. You were made by love. You were made for love. You were made to love. Right. And so today walk yeah. around going, who do I get to love? Yeah. Who do I get to bless? Amen. Who do I get to? Yes. Do? I know you do. Marie. Oh. You do. <laughs> you live this every single day. Maureen is on my is on my she's right. So she she's always saying true. yes to him. And you know why? Because she is a sent one. Mm-hmm. Everywhere she goes, she's our little Muriel. Seriously. Yeah. Everywhere mm-hmm. she goes. She carries the presence of another world. Yeah. And I'm so thankful for that. Amen. All right, let's get started in our in our receiving prayer. This is important. Hold out your hands. You have to place yourself just like you walk in a room and turn on the light. You got to walk in your room. This is the temple. You got to walk in your room, in your heart and mind, soul, spirit. You got to turn on the light to say, I'm in receiving mode now. I'm in receiving. Amen. So let's all pray this together. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. Today, 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 I'm a receiver. I'm, I'm a receiver. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm alert. I'm alert. I'm a receiver. I'm a receiver. And I'm going to get it. And I'm going to get it. And I'm going to get it right. And I'm going to get it right. And when I get it, I'm going to hide it deep in my heart. I'm going to hide it deep in my heart. Your word I hide in my heart. Your word I hide in my heart. That I might not sin against you. That I might not sin against you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Let's begin. Let's begin. Galatians 1. Ah, I'm going to read it. Now, remember, here's your first write-in. In Uh, your write-in, I want you to write this down. Getting free is one step, step, but staying free requires intentional and daily focus. Write that in there. It's one thing to get free. It's another thing to stay free. Remember, once you come to Christ and you are set free by the love and the forgiveness and the grace and mercy of Jesus. What a moment for all of us. This last Sunday, seven, seven at the father's house, um, you came up, came to, came to the altar and mm. Hey, we're a fresh start, you know, a reset in their hearts. Now they, they had that moment with God that born again, they were born. Yes. But now just like a baby, the baby's born, but now the baby's got to stay alive. Right. You were born in the spirit, but now we got to stay alive in the spirit. spirit. Yeah. 
because the enemy wants to take us backwards. Do you remember our study last week? Yes. Don't go back. Yes. Paul, the apostle Paul here in Galatians 4, well, all of Galatians, but in Galatians 4 especially, he's pleading with the people in this region through his letter. I'm pleading with you. He says it. I'm pleading with you. Don't go back to those ways of law and sin. Don't go back into being stuck in yuck. Stay free. So I just want to tell you, whatever God has brought you out of, it's one thing to get out of it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm sitting here. Look at my friend yeah. just a few weeks ago, just a few weeks ago after the study at this house, the last time Yeah, we talked about something that that she just was honest. You know, the Bible says to confess your struggles one yeah. to another. Mm -hmm. yeah. We think yeah. sins and you know what? And, and we go, oh, I thought we'd confess our sins to Jesus, but the, the the what makes that really real to me is I am better when I pray with someone else and someone else prays for me. When I confess my struggles, yeah. my mm -hmm. this yes. is what I'm dealing with. This mm -hmm. is what I'm walking through. Yes. It breaks yes. the darkness. Yes. And we talked about yes. it. Yes. We talked about something that my yes. friend was stuck yes. in and she yes. was hurting. Yes. She's here today and this I'm not gonna, I'm not putting her on the spot to give her testimony now, but there'll be a day she will. Mm -hmm. There'll be Praise a day she will. Jesus. But let me tell you just a few weeks ago, and I will ask you this. How long had you been stuck in that pattern? Weeks or months or years? 10 years. 10 Whoa. years. Listen to yeah. me. I will have her share her testimony at church and in this study. She's sitting across from me right now. But she, uh, how long ago were we here? A month and a half ago? Yeah. yeah. Had to be at least a month ago. Yeah, at least a Come month on. ago. We were here. And she rightfully, she, amen. So wow. that day. That day after prayer and just standing with her, Amen. she said, I've been stuck in this pattern of, of something for 10 years and I'm not going to take her testimony. I'm going to let her share it. But let me just tell you, there are patterns that the enemy wants us to stay stuck in. Mm -hmm. Old thinking, old habits, yes. Yes. old addictions, whatever. Yes. He wants yes. us to be stuck there. But let me, let me tell you that very day, that very day, she said, I'm done. And it was a, it was a rough couple weeks, mm. but she was done. And she's sitting here across from me today, delivered and over it and done in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Don't go back. So Paul would say, now, what, what if, what if we found out just like the apostle Paul, Hey, that she's starting to go back. We'd be like, no. So Paul is pleading with yes, the people he yes, loves. Don't go yes. back. Yeah. Don't go back into that old way of law. Don't go back that very day. Josiah. Yes. My wonderful mm. son, that very day. And she's sitting here free. And wow, what a difference. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So remember, this is it. Galatians is the Christian's uh, constitution of Christian liberty. You know, I said that when we first started Galatians. It's the constitution of Christian liberty. So I'm, I'm now reading from Galatians 1. We're staying in one verse this whole study. <laughs> the Holy Spirit said, preach on this, teach on this one verse all day today. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming on in. Thank you everyone for being here. Now listen, I'm going to read it from two different versions. All right. The Galatians one, this is our verse for today. So Christ has truly set us free. Would you say amen to that? Amen. Now, now here's, the, here's the support line. Make sure that you stay free. Yeah. And you don't get tied up again in slavery to the law or slavery to anything or anyone. Amen. Mm -hmm. To the law. Let me be very clear that you can be a slave. You can be, you can make an idol of your spouse. You can make an idol of your kids. You can make an idol of your job. You can be a slave to even good things. You, you can make, animal. you can make yeah, an yeah. idol of your animal. Yeah. Esther, did you hear that? Yeah. Yes. You cannot be in charge of this house. No. Yeah. No. But listen, some people, mm, some people are a slave. Okay. I'm not the slave to the law. I'm not the slave to, you know, but maybe you're a slave to something or someone else. Remember yeah. what is the Christian order? It's God I'm first. Gosh. You are second. Yes. Amen. Love your neighbor as yourself yes. and then yes. your spouse. Yeah. And then your kids. Yeah. Can I tell you how many homes are out of whack because oh, the yeah. kids are driving the boat? Yeah. The kids are calling the show. Yes. I want, I need, take yes. me, do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just sat with a couple a few weeks ago. I'm like, when's the last time you had a date date? Well, we usually go out with our kid. I'm like, that's not a date. Mm -hmm. Tell her to stay home. Yeah. 
You go out and show your daughter that your marriage is a priority. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't care how old they are. Invest, get a babysitter, barter. Oh, I can't afford a sitter. Then barter system it. Yeah. Do something for them. Exchange. You babysit. They babysit mm -hmm. your kids. You babysit them so they can go out. Yes. You can always find a way. Yes. Stop making excuses. Always. Man, this is the year of no more excuses, Amen. you guys. Come I on. am tired Come of the on. excuses in myself, yes. and I don't want you to be stuck making excuses or blaming anymore. Yes. Amen. It is a trick of the enemy yes. to blame, yeah. to, be, to, to make excuses. Mm -hmm. For our behavior. No God is calling us to excellence. Excellence. God excellence. is calling us to yes. excellence. God is calling us higher. Yeah. Higher. Yeah. Moving yeah. up a little yeah. higher. Yeah. Higher. Yeah. Amy, are you on? You should know that song. <laughs> Come on. Beyond the cross. Moving up a little higher. Amen. Parents night out. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, every, the last Friday of every month now, yes. Rachel is committing. She wow. did one this last Friday. The last Friday of every month, parents that night out. Cool. Isn't that great? So that if you're here in the Burnsville area, you don't have to go to the Father's house. If you're on here and you want to take advantage of that, we'd love to bless you. We're here to be a blessing. Great idea. But the point is, sometimes we think slavery to the law or slavery to an addiction. I want you to think about slavery. You can be a slave mm -hmm. to a person or a thing. Mm -hmm. You can be a slave to your cabin. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can be a slave to sports. Mm -hmm. To the flesh. You can be a slave to shopping. Mm -hmm. Anything. Now, is a cabin intrinsically bad? Absolutely yeah. not. Is shopping bad? No, we have no. to do it. But there are people. Th there's names for all these addictions. Do you know that there's people that just shop and they return things endlessly? There's an actual name. There's a there's what? a there's a, a counselors have a name for that addiction. Oh yeah, just the, the turn, everything. the they turn, everything, everything, oh, everything, and they call everything a disease. No, it's a choice. Come on, choice. alcoholism is not a disease; it's a choice. A choice. Mm -hmm. Dad always said, one in ten people that pick up the first drink become a hopeless, complete, wasted life alcoholic. Mm -hmm. One in ten. If you never pick up the first drink, you're never going to be a part of that statistic. Right. Yeah. Everything is permissive. so. I am sorry. Yeah, this culture, age. our world mm -hmm. says, Oh, yeah. you got a disease. Oh, you don't feel good. You have a disease. Please. It's called depression. Hey, there is serious mental illness. There, there, there are. Can I tell you though? Don't make me put a number on it because it's going to be super high. Mm -hmm. I am so tired of our world. We are being drugged to death. Oh, mm -hmm. You feel happy? You feel yes. too high? We'll mm -hmm. give you a pill to make you go to sleep. You feel too low? We'll make give you a pill to get high, mm -hmm. to feel better, that you can go to work. You feel you feel a little confused, nervous? a little upset, like a little zombie. nervous, or are you? Is that is that little boy in class a little hyper? Guess what? He's a boy. Yes. Stop yes. labeling him yes. ADD or ADHD. Oh. Hey, there are true. Don't yeah. hear what I'm not saying. Oh, there yeah. are true mental illnesses. Yeah, there, mm -hmm. there is such a thing called bipolar and then you need medication. Yes. Yeah. Don't hear mm -hmm. what I'm not saying. Yeah. But don't you dare listen. To what a doctor's prescription is before oh, you do yeah. what this doctor's come prescription on, is. On, right. Don't you yes. dare. Yes. I see Christians all the time. Oh, I gotta go get my meds. I gotta get my meds. I gotta, I gotta take them. Oh, I forgot to take my meds. Did you forget to pray? Did you read your Bible this morning? They yeah. give more weight, mm -hmm. more importance to mm -hmm. the doctor appointment than they do to their God appointment. Mm -hmm. And we wonder why we're stuck. Mm -hmm. We wonder why we're weak. We wonder why we're broken. Mm -hmm. We wonder why we're not getting stronger. It's because we're eating of the wrong nourishment. Jesus says, come eat of me. Eat of me. I am mm -hmm. the bread of what? Life. Mm -hmm. All of your life will get a big upgrade mm -hmm. when you are doing exactly what you're doing right now, studying the word reading the word, being plugged into your home church, teaching, leading, loving, blessing, serving. This is abundant living. Yes. And you'd be shocked. Yes. You'd be shocked. Do you know one of the things that they've proven? This is not the word. This is medicine. Science has proven that people that are suffering with depression, mm -hmm. guess what depression is? A lot of depression is just being self-focused. Mm -hmm. yes. I feel I want, I need. Yeah. I feel yeah. I want, I need. Yeah. It's self-focused. Do you know that yeah. just forget the word of God. Yeah. Just science. Yeah. Regular counselors will tell you, hey, you want to you feel better? Go volunteer somewhere. 
<coughs> go go volunteer at yeah. a hospital. Yeah. Go volunteer at your school. Go volunteer mm -hmm. at your church. Yeah. Uh, Jojo sitting next to me said, um, can be a form of pride. Pride, I is the middle mm -hmm. letter of pride. Mm -hmm. I is the middle letter of sin. I is the middle letter of Lucifer. When you are at the center of your life, you are living like the devil. Mm -hmm. You're not living like God. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. I'm going to say that again. Yes. Good. Mm -hmm. When when I I'm talking to Christians now, this is not an evangelistic message. It is a message for believers. If you're listening to me and you say that you are a Christian, if you live with you at the center, you're living like the devil. That's what that's why the devil got kicked out of heaven. He wanted he didn't he, his pride yeah. mm -hmm. came in. Right. Mm -hmm. And the devil the devil wanted to be like God and he was jealous and he was prideful. And, 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 and uh, that's what made him the devil is pride and self-focus mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I want, mm -hmm. I need, and, I. and there are Christians mm -hmm. and it grieves me when I hear of people that I love so much that are stuck in self. Yeah. You got to bust out of that. And yeah, part of that is we're going to learn this today, what it means, this Galatians 5, 1. We got to get to my study. I'm, I'm, I'm alive today because this word is in me. Let me read Galatians 5, 1 in the message. Listen, Christ has set us free to live a free life. That's pretty common sense, right? Mm -hmm. But listen to this. What's the next phrase? So take your stand. Mm -hmm. Never again let anyone put a harness of slavery on you. Yes. Yes. And I would say a harvest of control yes. mm -hmm. because control is a form of slavery. Control is a form of abuse. Control is a form of, of um, power, which is mm -hmm. pride. Don't let anybody put that harness mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. ever. So here is what the Lord told me to, to tell you guys today. Here we go. Mm. What does it mean to take a stand? What does it mean to take your stand? Mm -hmm. to, not, to not just get free, but stay free. What does that mean? And so I've got nine points. Are you ready to run? Yeah, yeah. Are you ready to run? Here yes. it is. The one thing it means, I hope you've got your notes, by the yes. way. If you don't have your notes from my producer list, please put your email here. Whenever you're watching, she will add you to the list and you will get sent study notes that all my team has right here. You'll get sent that printed out so that you can follow along in these living by faith studies. I want you to have these notes. This is a powerful study today. This is a living word in me. God gave me revelation on this one verse. What does mm -hmm. it mean to take a stand? Number one, to stand is a position of living in Christ. It's a position. All right. So let's all read together what's in your notes. I put them in your notes so that you would have the scripture verses. Mm -hmm. And I want you to read them out loud because you know what? The word of God is yes. way stronger than any word I teach. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. living word of God is living and active. And I want yes. us to, because the word itself will bring liberty and life to your spirit today. So this is, these are the scriptures to, to support, to stand as a position of living in Christ. The first one is my mama's favorite scripture verse. Second Corinthians 5, 17. Let's read it together. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. I would say to that. In your Bible, if we're under behold, just write ta-da. Because man, you you when you are resurrected from yourself, ta-da! Shazam! Here I am. I am brand new. Ta-da! Every time I read this verse in church, we always instead of behold, we say ta-da. So let's read it like that. And I want you to yell ta-da. Okay. Because you're yelling to your own spirit. You're yeah. commanding your own spirit. You are telling the enemy, hey. I'm not that old person anymore. Ta-da. I'm brand new. Let's read it that way, okay? Can we? Yeah. Therefore, Therefore, if, if any, any man be in Christ, Christ he, he is, is a, a new creature. creature. Old all things, things are, are passed away. away. Ta-da. All, all things are become new. new. Yeah. Amen to that. Come on. Get that in your spirit. Get that in your spirit. Hey, guys, guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to share 
this on the other social media platforms. Would you please share this? It's a great honor. You don't have to, but if you're willing to, I'd love for you to share this on your Facebook page. People need this truth. People need to get yeah. set free and need to stay free. Yeah. So I'm going to share this to a couple of yeah. other mediums. Hang on just one second. Share to a page. Share to a page. <clears throat> wow, wow, wow. Powerful. I love the word of God. Mm -hmm. This is exciting stuff and it will change you today. Yeah. Just like my friend here sitting across from me. I'm telling you, I can't wait till she gives her testimony. One minute. One minute, just one touch. Come on, there's another Beyond the Cross song Dad and I wrote. Just one touch is all I need. Just one touch and I'll be free. I know there's one more great miracle for me. One touch is all I need. That, that with a one touch was about written about the woman who came to Jesus and touched the hem of his garment. Just one touch. My friend across the table from me was touched by God because she did the work. She shared this struggle. We broke that off of her and she made a decision. Never again. Hallelujah. Just one touch. So one touch in this study today can bring mm -hmm. revelation and freedom yes. to you that, that yes. you need for the challenge that you That's are facing because we're all got our yes. baby. Amen. Let's read the second verse to stand mm -hmm. as a position of living in Christ. Here's the second verse. If then read it with me, everybody, if, if then, then you, you were, were raised, raised with Christ, Christ seek those things which are above where Christ is sitting at, at the right hand, hand of God. God. Set your, your mind on things above. above. Not uh -huh. on things uh -huh. on the yeah. earth. Here it is. For, For you, you died, died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. To stand is a position of living in Christ. You are in Christ and you are hidden by with Christ in God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hidden, hidden, yeah, hidden. Amen. Number two, to stand yeah. is to face forward i'm sorry face toward the future i'm facing you right now that's good i'm facing you right now yeah to stand and not go backwards is to what you're you got to go forward. forward you got to face toward your future if if you're driving looking to the side comparing yourself to the cars over in that lane you're going to crash and burn yeah. and if you're driving yeah. going the opposite direction yeah. going the other way <laughs> How's it going for you? You're going <laughs> to die that way too. God wants you to live and not die. Yeah. Do not be held by the past. Do not be held by That's your mistakes. Good. Do not be held by even five minutes ago. How many times I say this, I preach it, I live it. You can't do anything about five minutes ago. No. Let yourself off the torture yeah. rack. Mm. Stop rehearsing. So your mistakes. Uh -huh. Because if you are rehearsing your mistakes, guess what you're doing? You're just agreeing with the devil yeah. who's telling you what a loser you are. And you're, and, focusing, on yourself. And you're focusing on yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Stop it. God has a magnificent future for you. God has a magnificent future for you. And you got to keep your eyes on him. Keeping your eyes on okay. Jesus, the author okay. and the finisher yeah. of okay. your faith. You will not finish your race if you're looking at you. You will not finish yeah. your race yeah. if you're comparing yeah. yourself with someone yeah. else. That's you will true. not finish your race. Going, Why did they get that promotion? Why do they have more money than me? Yeah. Why are they chosen by by uh, to be on that team and not me? If you are constantly doing that, baby, you have just... Bought a ticket to the crazy train and you stepped up and you took your seat and you are just making a decision to make yourself crazy. And guess what? If you want to do that, have a nice trip. I hope you enjoy yourself. I have chosen to step off the crazy train. Yes. I have, sto I have chosen to own my journey with God.
Yeah. I have chosen to not make excuses. Yes. Yes. I have chosen to not blame oh, anybody or anything. Yeah. It's me and Jesus, baby. Amen. We, we, I am going to get to where God wants me to get to. Yeah. I am going to hit my life assignment in the bullseye, not kind of sort of, or off in the haystack. I want to hit the bullseye of what God put me on this planet yeah. to do. But yeah. man, you got to remember, you know how archers, have you ever watched this yes. in the summer Olympics? Yeah. Those archers, they Focused. are trained years yeah. of training. Listen, yeah. it's okay. Let me be very careful. Wherever you are in your journey with God, mm -hmm. I don't want to add any guilt or heap any burden upon you. No, no, no. I'm here to help you get free. Yes. I'm helped to bring truth. So don't, don't be feeling bad. Oh, that's me. Okay. Make a decision like my friend did. Today's a different yeah, day. Today's today. Make a choice that's true. on your journey Yeah. and say, I, nobody, nobody's going to get in my way. Get out of here. The enemy comes, his voice, shut up. Shut up. Go yes. back to the pit where you belong. Yes. Shut up. I'm not talking to you. You take every thought captive. Who said that? Is that God? Good. God's voice makes me feel better. Yeah. It brings me up. Yeah. It gives me life. God's yeah. voice makes me feel better about me. Yeah. But the way you know it's the devil talking is you feel oh. small. You feel shame. Yeah. You feel bad. Yeah. You feel weighty. Yes. You feel burdened. Yeah. That's how you know the devil's talking mm -hmm. is because he's uh -huh. opening his mouth. Not, yeah. Every time yeah. he opens his mouth, lies come out. Yes. Stop agreeing with the liar yes. about you. Yeah. Stop yes. agreeing with the liar about others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you gossip about other people yes. that aren't present, yeah. Mm -hmm. You are doing the devil's job. You are. Mm -hmm. You're actually yes. doing the devil's job you and are. you're acting and living like the devil because mm -hmm. that's what the Six. devil does. Mm -hmm. yeah. The devil sows seeds of doubt, yeah. gossip, slander. Did you know, hey, if you're not a part of the story, you got no business listening to that trash. Amen. To if that. you are not mm -hmm. part of the story, if yeah. you did not see it, smell it, taste yes. it, weren't there present, don't listen. Yeah. So I told a friend of mine recently who I love dearly yeah. got caught up in this. And I said, did it ever occur to just say, why are you telling me this? I can't hear this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go tell if you need to just talk it out. Mm -hmm. Go talk it out with the person you're supposed you, to talk it out with. To. Don't yeah. tell me about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. That's a sin. Yeah. It's a sin to do it. And it's a sin mm -hmm. to listen. And we need to protect one another. We are to protect yes. one another. Yes. Nobody will ever. Now, I am militant about this. You know yeah. why? Because I've been really one. hurt by yes. the liar. Yeah. yeah. And I've been hurt by good people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so have you. Mm -hmm. have, mm -hmm. How does it feel when somebody slanders or gossips about you? Oh. Doesn't something inside of you cry? Why don't you just talk to me? Yeah. So then why would you ever let someone else gossip to you yeah, about right. someone else? Mm -hmm. right. Do unto others as you would have them do unto mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. If you don't like how it feels when someone gossips and lies mm -hmm. about you, then do the body of Christ a favor and protect right. the body. Protect my brothers and, and redirect. Yes. Oh, well, they, no, 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 no. Redirect. I can't hear that because this isn't about you and me. You're telling me a story about someone that is not present to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. and they're, they're do you brothers see? And sisters yes. Too. Yes. They're... And we're devouring the Bible. Actually, Paul says another, do not devour one another. Mm -hmm. Do you know when your mouth is what you devour food with your mouth is also what you devour another brother or sister yes. with. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've never said that before. Mm -hmm. That's an anointed word. It mm -hmm. is. I'll find it for you. Mm -hmm. Can you find the verse up? Uh, Liz, you have a computer. Do not devour one another. Uh, I want to say if you, I, I, you'll you'll find it now. Listen, I'm going to stay right here because this is very important. You devour your food, boy. You devoured that. Have you ever heard someone say that? Man, you just ate it down so fast. You Galat Could you read it, please? Yeah. Read it out loud. Here it is. Galatians five fifteen. It's in the same chapter. Come yeah, on, yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and read it if for us. Bite Liz. and devour each other. Watch out, or you will be destroyed by each other. Wow, true. Come on. Wow. wow. On that one. Oh. Now, what what are we talking about? We're talking about getting free and staying free. We're talking about standing. How do you stand in victory? 
How do you stand free? You stand free. Doesn't it make you feel yucky? Listen, my friend mm -hmm. who, who I just talked to about this, she felt literally yucky. She said, it just made me feel yucky. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that's what happens? It makes you feel yucky when you're watching someone sin. You got to stop them mm -hmm. and help them be healthy and redirect to the right person they're supposed to talk to according to Matthew 18, 15, right. which is the brother or sister that hurt them or offended them or whatever their issue is, the person who is in the part of the story. But see, it makes you feel yucky. Just like when you eat your food too fast, you get sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, come on, come on, come on. But there's one more to this at 14, which is the verse before. It Can you says, read it really loud? Yeah. Um, it says, the entire law is fulfilled in a single decree. Love your neighbor as yourself. Oh, wow. Watch if you keep on bit, um, biting and devouring, devouring each other. Watch out or you will be consumed by each other. 16. So I say, yes. walk in the spirit and you will not, not fulfill um, grit, 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 the lust of the flesh. Des desires mm -hmm. of the flesh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So I'm going to say it one more time because it's worth repeating. Mm. It's worth repeating. Our food, our mouth is what we devour our food with. Our mouth is also what we devour our fellow brother and sister with. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen to you. Olaf, Olaf Lund, why do I not know you? What a great name. First of all, Lund is Swedish, so I need to know you. Lund is half of my name, Lundstrom. So Lund, of course, you would know this. In Sweden, Sweden Lund means land. Yeah. And Lundstrom means land stream. So a stream oh. of living water through the land oh. is who the Lundstroms have been our whole life, bringing the living water of Jesus. So Olaf, I need to know you. Thank you for tuning in today. And uh, tell me a little bit about you. Send me a private message. I just love his name, Olaf Lund. Come on. Is that the cutest name? I want to hug him. Back to our study. Hey, that was an important sidebar. I just want to park right here. Yeah. Do not understand the pain it causes Jesus, the Father, our yeah. Father. Yeah. A father's like, can't my kids just get along? Don't you hate when your kids are fighting? Yeah. God hates when his kids are fighting. Yeah. He hates when we devour one another with our words. He hates when we tell a story about someone it's nothing to do with us. And we wouldn't do that to our own brother and sister. How much more? Yeah. Our brothers and sisters in Christ. We have to, we have to protect the unity of the body. Yeah. The unity of the body. So we got to be bold enough to say, yeah, I can't hear that. Yeah. Can't hear that. We got, thank you. This is what we're supposed to be right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is it. Yeah. See, elephants protect one another. They help one another. Oh, I love elephants. Yeah. Elephants is us. It's the body of Christ. I love to be free. I don't want to feel yucky because mm -hmm. someone else is telling me something that's none of my business. Yeah. I don't want to feel bad about that. Yeah. And I don't want them to suffer the harm to their own life by not doing the work. Right. So if you love somebody, you're not going to let them sin. You're going to say, whoa, stop. Don't do that. Yeah. Uh -uh. Can't hear it. Yeah, amen. Boy, if more people would do that. I've had to do that a lot. And let me tell you, maturity, a sign of maturity is you to do it too. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare get caught up in that crap. It will wreck Mary you. Dennis. It will wreck you. I did that the other day. and to a, a very, I did it in love. And when the man left, he came back and he apologized for talking about someone. See, there you go. I wasn't gonna because you did it in love. love. Yeah. But you did it in love. Done in love. But you did it boldly. Yeah. Yep, I did. But his spirit was hungry, humble, and teachable, and he yeah. came back and asked forgiveness. Yeah. Praise God. That's the body of Christ. Yeah. See, pride puffs up and goes, well, blah, 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 and they just get power up, and they just stay yeah. angry. And, uh, no, no, no. But if you're humble and teachable, I thank mm -hmm. God for mm -hmm. the people who have loved me mm -hmm. enough to correct mm -hmm. me. Yes. yes. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jesus, for the pastors, the coaches, yes. my parents, yes. those in leadership, yes. my pastor, yeah. that have loved me enough to correct yeah, yeah. And most of the time, I can't say all the time, certainly as a kid, and as a teenager, I was a brat. But as, a, as an adult, thank God, most of the time I go, I am like that. I'm so thankful. Thank yeah. you for loving me enough yeah. to help me be more excellent. Yeah. To help me be more like Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's the real heart of God. Here we go. Let's keep going. Yeah. This is good. Ah, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right. Face forward. So let's read the two verses with that. Here are the two verses. To stand is to face toward the future. 
Let's read Philippians 3, 13 and 14. Here we go. Let's all read it together out loud. Brothers, Brothers and sisters, and sisters I, do I do not consider, consider myself yet, yet to have taken hold, hold of it, it. but one, one thing, thing I do, forgetting what, what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There it is. Forward. Pressing on. Here's the next verse. Let's read it together. It's Luke 9, 62. Let's read it all together. But Jesus told him, anyone who puts a hand to the plow and then looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. Don't look back. Face forward. Mm -hmm. Faith forward. Face forward. Faith forward. Face forward. Faith forward. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody or anything take you off your assignment, your task. That's good. I can't be I can't be distracted by that. That's not my assignment. Nope, I'm going this way. Yeah. Amen. You might not Amen. feel it, you might not taste it, you might not see it. Mm -hmm. But you by know. faith Others around you yeah. try to pull you back. Yeah. Oh, amen. Amen. Yeah. That's the Stay whole focused. purpose of this. Stay yeah. People will pull you back on their crazy train. Oh, this train is mm -hmm. fun. Come over mm -hmm. here with me. Come on my tra crazy train with me. And all of a sudden, you are off in a land you never were meant to go to. Remind yeah. you of things from the Ooh. past that are to me bring shame. And bring shame. Remind and, you of who you used to be. And as you change, you lose those friends. Yes, you do. You do it. You, you will. You very well likely lose friends yes. because they're not. They're not growing mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. They're still stuck back there. Yeah. And they're going to try and pull you back. That's it. Mm -hmm. And they're not supposed to be on the journey with you. That's right. They were there journey. for that part of the journey, but yeah. hey, they're not there on no. this leg of the journey. No. Because maybe they're they're kind of stuck in that thing, and they they don't like they like the old you. They're yeah, stuck in come slavery. on. They're stuck in slavery. They're stuck mm -hmm. or whatever they're stuck in. But the mm -hmm. point is, it's they're they're not your issue. You're your right. issue. That's Let me right. be very clear. Do right. not agree with the devil yeah. that another person is your issue. You yeah. are your That's issue. That's yeah. good. And the battles in your mind because they're used to being oh. a certain way yeah. and doing a certain thing, and now you're this new creation in Christ Jesus. You, you're doing things differently, but it doesn't seem normal to you because it's not the normal you. Right. So there's a little transformation. Going. You're in that cocoon still. And trust that process. Trust the process because the outcome the process. is good. And, that's a good yeah, word. Trust the process. Yes. Yeah. And that's right. Wherever mm -hmm. you are today, maybe you're a brand new believer. Maybe mm -hmm. you've been a believer a long time. But let me tell you, no matter where you are, God has more for you. Right. He wants you to keep growing. He wants you to keep going. He wants you to keep maturing in the Lord. He wants you to keep becoming more like Jesus, becoming more excellent. All right. Number three, to stand is to refuse to sit down or quit. Sounds kind of simple. Right. To stand, if you're standing, you're not sitting. To stand is to refuse to sit down or quit. How many times have I wanted to quit? <laughs> oh, uh, quit everything. I've many times I wanted to quit. I wanted to quit, stories. quit, 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 quit the ministry, quit uh, trying to eat right, quit <laughs> everything and everybody, quit friendships, quit trusting people, quit, just quit. Just quit, period. The enemy's always going to try to get you to quit. Mm -hmm. Quit going to your church. Quit taking a shower. <laughs> Quit everything. You know, anything that's good yeah. for you. He's trying to take you backwards. Right. We're lacking something then. Maybe you need to rest. Maybe you need to just sit and Amen. in the presence of the Lord. Maybe you need a little mini vacation. Get away for a day or two. Yes, you got to take care Come of you. Got to honor back. Sabbath. This, yeah. you know, this, this message is not about honoring a Sabbath. Let me tell you, if you are not sleeping, mm -hmm. if you are not getting rest, if yeah. you are not taking care of you, why? Because you're too busy focusing on three, four, five, and six instead of one and two. Yeah. 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 One and two, two it, here again, it's your issue. Yeah. Stop making excuses. It's your issue. Yeah. It God's first. You are second. Yeah. 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 Take mm -hmm. care of your health. Yeah. Your mental health, yeah. your spirit health, your temple health. Get outside, go for a walk, exercise. Yeah. 
Get those endorphins going. Be Amen. moving. Yeah. Be about the Father's be business. Be alive. Amen. Here's your verse. Let's read it together. Ephesians 6, 13. Let's all say it out loud. Therefore, Therefore put, put on, on the, the full armor of God, of God so God. that when, when the, the day, day of evil comes, comes you may be able to stand your ground. ground. And, and after, after you, you have done, done everything, everything to, to stand. 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 Is this stand in, 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 sign in sign language? Oh, everybody do this. This is stand in sign language. Stand. stand. Yep. Oh, stand. I like it. Stand. 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 Don't quit. Don't sit down. Don't, Don't step off. Stand. Stand. Number four. To stand is to live awake and alert. So many places in the Bible we are told, wake up, oh sleeper. Wake up. Yeah. Wake up. Let's read these two verses or one verse. First, the let Thessalonians 5, verse 6 says this. Let's all say it together. So be on your guard, not asleep like the others. Stay alert and be clear headed. Amen. Amen. Yeah. This should be one of your professions in the morning, one of your faith That's declarations. I hope you're doing one. my, Liz, would you mind posting my YouTube faith declarations? Do you mm -hmm. guys do that every day? Man, I didn't do this just for me. I did it for you. You should go to YouTube, Londa right. Lundstrom, do the faith, daily faith declarations, do it every morning. And if you're having a really down day, do it twice a day or three mm -hmm. times a day. It is the gospel. Yeah. It is <laughs> the gospel. It is the prescription for you. It is the gospel. One of your faith declarations, which I say in there, I'm awake, I'm alert, I'm listening. Just like we just did our faith mm -hmm. prayer. Mm -hmm. I'm a receiver. Mm -hmm. But this is a 10 minute, it's 11 minutes long. You hear the word awake a lot these days. Oh, yeah. That's but, because everybody's numbed out. They're well, numbed that out. Clear headedness is not happening. They're all drugged up. They're, <laughs> they're, 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 they're living the word away. They're that. living in the fog because of, of pharma drugs. Yeah. They're living in the fog because they're just overwhelmed and they are not facing the music right. of debt of health issues, of relationship right. issues. Mm -hmm. They'd rather go to bed and just make the world go, go away, away than deal with it. Mm -hmm. And the word of God is telling us today, wake up, mm -hmm. be alert, mm -hmm. be awake. Who's mm -hmm. trying to destroy you? You got to destroy them. When the devil hits hard, you got to hit him back harder. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Hit him harder. Crazy. How do you hit him? You face it. Yeah. You don't make excuses anymore. If you're in debt, hey. We've all been there. We've all done that. Mm -hmm. We'll get free. I'm reading the Dave Ramsey book again. Oh, what Dave? The, the, it's financial. financial. He's the financial. best financial, financial guy. Freedom. And some of our kids were, are going through the Financial Peace University. We've taught it. Anita and yeah. Kurt taught it mm -hmm. a couple years ago. You need to get help. Mm -hmm. Man, just face it. Mm -hmm. There's a plan. There's always, God always provides a way of escape. Mm -hmm. yes, but you got to be honest. You got to face yeah. the music. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't just pretend like that's not happening because yeah. that stuff snowballs and you will be in such deep weeds and mm -hmm. it will wreck your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't want to live it. It's free. It's that's bondage. Right. You'll be, if mm -hmm. you're in bondage to debt, you are in bondage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You you're a slave. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be, God doesn't want us to be a slave. Mm -hmm. Because it affects everything about our lives. So let's keep going here. You guys have enjoying this? One yeah. verse. One oh, verse. So be on your guard, not asleep like the others. How many people are asleep to really what's going on in their marriage? They're not awake. Mm -hmm. Asleep to really what's going on in their finances. Asleep mm -hmm. to really what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. no. you got to be awake mm -hmm. to pray. Mm -hmm. God, help me. Be awake and yes. alert. Because that's the call of an intercessor. Yes. I'm watching. Yes. I'm awake. Yes. I'm looking. Yes. I'm awake. Where's the devourer? I'm going to devour them first. Yes. When the devil hits, I'm going to go after yes. him with the word and worship and prayer. Come yes. on. Yes. This, is, this is exciting. Number five. We're getting there, guys. Mm -hmm. To stand is to thank and worship God no matter what is going on. Mm -hmm. mm. Worship is your warfare. Worship is your warfare. Yeah. Get that Love praise, it. worship, music yeah. rocking. Yeah. Yeah. It's your warfare. Yeah. 
Joshua fought the battle of Jericho and the walls came tumbling down. Got the worshipers marching around those walls. Man, get that worship. March around your house. March around your kitchen. March yes. around your checkbook. Whatever you got to march around. Get freedom. Get those walls down. Okay? Uh, I hope you're getting this. Let's, let's read these. I've got three verses here. I printed in your notes. Here we go. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Here it is. In, in everything. everything. Stop. Let's do it again. In, in everything. everything. And remember, it's not for everything. We don't thank God for right. cancer. Right. We don't thank God for trouble. That's right. We thank God in trouble. Mm -hmm. We don't thank God for the valley, but we thank him in the valley. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just remember, it's a big, big word difference. Right. Let's say it again. In, in everything, everything, give thanks, thanks for, for this, this is, is the, the will, will of God, God in Christ Jesus concerning you. you. Amen. Hebrews 13, 15. Through him, then let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43, 21. The people I made, especially for myself, that's you, a people custom made to praise me. Isn't that cool? You were custom made to praise God. You were born by love to worship yes. the one who made you. Yeah. You were created to worship him. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is so good. So one way, the fifth way to stand is to thank and worship God no matter what is going on. What does Brent Ramsey say every single time you ask him how he's doing? What? Thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. thankful. Every single time, as long as I've known my husband. Thankful. On the phone, in person. Hey, how you doing, Brent? What does he say? I'm, I'm thankful. thankful. Why? Because your position of being thankful pushes back that dark cloud. I don't care what's going on around me. It doesn't change my yeah. ability to be thankful. No, no. I don't care what I'm, I'm walking right. through. I'm I don't care what's going on. I'm thankful. Yes. I'm going to worship God. I yes. don't care. My worship, my thanks, yes. my gratitude is not dependent uh -huh. on circumstances. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Amen. Yes. First, number six. We're getting there, guys. To stand is to stay put. Yeah, what do you mean by that? That's... Well, listen to this. This was so exciting. Don't you love to just get, get nuggets out of God's mm -hmm. word? Listen to this. The verb, the actual Greek word stand right here. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it means? It's the word echo. I can't say it right. That word means to stay put. Oh, wow. The word stand means to stay put in Greek, in the Bible. Wow. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, why is this important? Why is this important? Because God wants you to stay put. He's given you an assignment. Yes. Sometimes God calls you mm -hmm. to move, to go. Move to a different city. Take a different job. Maybe attend a different church. Mm -hmm. God will call you to do that. But that's not where most people, most people live. Right. They live and they live in a place where they uh, maybe get offended. Maybe they have something happen or they get a better offer. They don't pray about it. Oh, that's a better offer. They don't say, God, sh should I do that or should I take that? No, no, no. See, God, your position needs to be to stand and stay put. Mm -hmm. This means in your life, in your marriage, in your church, in your, in your thinking, stay put until God himself gives you different instruction. But don't, don't jump just because you are bored you, or you don't, feel, don't jump because yeah, you're, yeah. you're overwhelmed. Don't yeah. jump because somebody <laughs> offended you. Don't jump because you're upset about something. Don't jump. Stay put. Why? 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 Let's read it together. Psalm 92, 13. Well, I know because God's probably trying to do something. Yes. Oh, we'd rather run yes. than get to the core. Yes. 
We'd yeah. rather run than get down to that deeper issue. Trying to do something. Yes, a friend of mine calls them runners. There's runners. There's runners in life. There's runners in the church. There's runners. Instead runners. of actually stay and work it out, they'll run. Yeah. Now, uh -huh. now I'm not talking about staying put if you are being abused. Right. Okay. I'm, please don't hear what I'm not saying because our twisted thinking, I have to say these things as a pastor and as a leader. Because some people will go, whoa, I'm in a marriage. I'm getting abused. No, 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 no. You have no, no, nobody right. gets to no. lay their hand no. on you no. or their harsh words no. on you. Get no. to a counselor, get help, get to a shelter, private message me, get out. Yeah, That's not the stay put right. I'm talking about. No. I'm talking about planting. Let's read Psalm 92, 13. Here we go. Those, Those who, who are, are planted, planted in, in the, the house, house of the Lord, Lord shall flourish. In, in the, the courts, courts of, of our God. God. So when you're planted, you flourish. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you're planted, you flourish. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe things aren't going so great at work, but you know what? How about meet with that boss and say, you know, let's talk this through because I, I, I want to plant. I, I want to flourish. Mm -hmm. You know, but some people will walk away because they get angry. They get mad. Some people will, you know, don't, don't short sell yourself. Today, men and women readily, readily leave a good job or leave a good church or leave a good marriage or leave, leave something of God because they get offended. They, they don't want to deal. They don't want to look in the mirror. They want to blame somebody else. I talked to somebody in another state a couple of days ago, and this person has been in a really tough marriage for a long time. And, and, the, and the other spouse just refuses, literally refuses, as in saying, don't ever bring it up to me again or we're divorcing, to go get help. And I'm like, You're, you, you, you got to protect yourself because that person is not willing to be a partner in the success of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They've stepped off. See, they're not staying. They're not standing. They're They've stepped off. Out. They're bailing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're making mm -hmm. the other person feel small. Like this is your issue. You go, you go ahead. You go ahead. Manipulation. Thank you. Which is what the spirit mm -hmm. of witchcraft. That's what the mm -hmm. devil does. Yes. Manipulation and control mm -hmm. is the devil's work. So boy. And I told them very clearly, I said, man, get to your pastor, get to your counselor, ASAP, mm -hmm. because you got some major narcissistic mind control going on and you are the victim of it. Don't let that. He is that person. In this case, I was talking to the woman. I don't counsel men on the phone. I only counsel women yeah. or give advice to. I have my husband mm -hmm. or one of our male pastors mm -hmm. talk to the men. Mm -hmm. OK, but I said, no, no, no. You, you you don't get to you don't get to just go. I'm not doing that unless you want to unless you don't want to be married anymore because yeah, yeah. this guy's fixing to not be married anymore, and he's gonna wish he went to counseling because she's gonna take absolutely everything he's got mm. because she built that business with him. Yeah. They built a life together, and he is so filled with pride he doesn't see even he's he's messed up. All right, God mm. doesn't want that for you. He wants you to win. Mm -hmm. So we plant right. Right. Now, when a fruit tree is put in the ground, it has to face things, rainstorms, sun, wind, harshness of the elements, yeah. because it causes it to seek another source of life and it causes the roots to go down deeper in the ground. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let me say that again. A great tree does not become great in a day. No. But no. if you leave that tree planted those roots are going to go down deep down and it deep. becomes a mighty tree. Yes. What? It flourishes. Mm -hmm. bears fruit. It mm -hmm. bears fruit and it flourishes. But what happens if you keep replanting that tree every couple of years? Mm -hmm. It's going to die. Mm -hmm. In time, the roots will die and it will yes. actually die. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So now let's read another verse. This is what mm -hmm. Psalm 1 speaks of. Let's read oh, together no, Psalm, Psalm 1 verse 3. <laughs> Here it is. He, he, so hold it, hold it. Who's he? He is the person who stays put. Yeah. He, he shall, shall be, be like a tree, a tree planted by, by the rivers, rivers of water that, that brings forth its fruit in its, in its season, season, whose leaf also, also shall not wither. wither. And what? And what whatever, whatever he does, does shall prosper. prosper. You don't Amen. prosper without planting. No. Right. No. There is no flourishing without staying put. Mm -hmm. Wow. No. Uh -uh. Wow. I love, I want to be, you know, I'm sorry that divorce was part of my history. I'm in a blended family. I, I feel, I didn't meet, you know, things happen. 
Don't let the enemy put shame on you for that. Yeah. I wish that wasn't my story, but it's my story. Now what? I could stay stuck in yuck, stuck yeah. on the crazy train, feel yeah. small. God will never use me. Oh, I've blown it. Right. That's what the enemy wants us to right. do. Right. But mm -hmm. I desire to have, and I have the kind of marriage that's been tested by the storms. Yes. I have a marriage that's yes. been tested. Yes. Maybe yes. you do too. Maybe you're walking through some serious testing. Guess what's on the other side of that testing? If you both are willing to look at the issues, not so, one, so, takes so, both. So, if you're both willing to get help, you're going to have a tree that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a life yeah. that's beautiful. You're going to have a marriage that's beautiful. If yeah. you both stay committed to doing the hard mm -hmm. work of, yeah. of pruning that yeah. thing, of, of, of getting it nourishment, of doing the things you need to, to keep it rocking. Okay. Yeah. Let me give you an example. The Holy Spirit gave me this example of staying put. Rosa Parks. Oh yeah. Rosa Parks in Montgomery, Alabama. Rosa Parks, they call her the first lady of civil rights. Rosa Parks said, nah, I'm not moving. I'm going to sit right here. I'm not going to be a victim any longer of segregation. Mm -hmm. I'm a human being mm -hmm. and I deserve to sit in this seat. But she took a stand while sitting. She took a stand <laughs> while sitting. Thank you. She stayed That's put. Cute. Exactly. See, right. someone is going to get to try, always tell you got to move. You got to do this. You got to jump through this hoop. You got to go. Listen, know who you are in Christ and sit, oh, stand, be there, you're be happy. there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you're, exactly. not you're not happy. You're not happy. I know. It's crazy. It's a feel good society. It's a feel though. good society. Right. Feelings are God. <laughs> and if feelings are God, that's great. Enjoy yourself. I'll tell you how that story ends. It's not a good one. Number seven, to stand is to pray at all times. Yes. To stand is to pray at all times. Prayer is your life and your life is a prayer. You breathe in and as you're exhaling, God, be with this person. Pray, pray, yeah. pray, 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 pray. Your life is a prayer. Thank you. Let's read the scripture. Ephesians 6, 18. Let's say it together. Ephesians 6, 18. And, and pray, pray in the spirit, spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. And requests. With, with this in mind, be alert and, and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Amen. Guys, remember, there is no pause button for the spiritual war we are in. The devil does not sleep or take vacations. The spiritual war is always on. That's why we need to pray at all times. We need to be awake and alert at all times. We need to lead and live in love with this. Oh, we're looking. Where is the enemy trying to get at me? What's going on? Where is he trying to come at me? Be awake and alert. Verse eight, yeah. or number eight. Here's the eighth way to stand. To stand is to know who you are because of whose you are. <laughs> To stand is all about identity, to know yeah. who you are because of whose you are. Man, put those shoulders back, lift that head high. Why? Because of these two verses. This is the verse. This is the verse of our royal school of ministry. Find the word royal in this verse. This is what our whole school is based on. To know God and his word, to be a person of character, integrity, to go into the world empowered, to live and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Those are the mm -hmm. three premises of our school. Listen, here it is. Let's read it together. First Peter 2, 9. But, but you, you are, are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, priesthood a holy nation, his, his own special people, people that, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. light. Hallelujah. Well, hey, by the way, uh, in it, the towards the end of March, we start the second semester of Royal School right. of Ministry. My producer is going to put the link there for our website. Anywhere in the country, send this link to anybody that's interested in getting to know the Word of God. It's virtual and it's live. It's live in Burnsville. You can come to the Royal School of Ministry in Burnsville, or you can. If you're in another state, we've got students. Listen, I've got a student now in Canada that will be in this semester. Oh. We have students in Nebraska, student in Montana, student in Colorado, student in Wisconsin, students in other places. So no matter where you are, you can be part of the Royal School of Ministry. 
Sorry, April second, second semester. Yeah. April I'm 2nd for, begins wait. the next semester. You've got time. It's affordable. We've kept it very affordable for you. Mm -hmm. All right. It's $150 per class. So for 12 weeks wow, for a $300, it's very affordable. $300 for a whole semester of the best teaching master class teachers. Guess who's one of our master class teachers in this next semester is going to be Robert Lairdon, the author of all the God's general books, millions of he's coming in. He'll be here to teach in this school. We just had uh, Darren Farmer from England, from oh, the East Coast. Powerful. powerful. We have master class yeah. instructors. Man, if you, there's anything in your heart jumping right now, you need to explore this. That's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. $300. It's every Thursday night. Rachel just said it's my favorite day of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, I love you, I Rachel. Know. It's so wonderful to have you in that. You're growing. You're learning. Now, listen, let's keep going. We're going a little over time today, but it's worth it. Let's read the second verse about identity. It's Galatians 3.26. Let's read it together. For, For you, you are, are all, all children, children of, of God, God through faith, faith in, in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Do you notice everywhere Paul always is talking about being yeah. in yeah. Christ yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That's why the it's first yeah. one was standing is to be in yeah. Christ. You're hidden in Christ. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel that peace, maybe it's because you're not in mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. You're hidden in Christ. Mm -hmm. Enemy can't get to you. Enemy can't touch you. Mm -mm. Can't touch you yeah, yeah. when you are hidden in Christ. Yeah. Maybe if you're getting bombarded, maybe you're not in Christ. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's where you stand. Yeah. But look at all these verses we're reading. How many yeah. times is it over and over? In, in Christ, in, in. in God, in you know, in Christ, in, in God, right? Yeah. All of in, 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 be in, be in, be under, be protected, be hidden. Mm -hmm. Number nine. Here's your last point. To stand. I love this one because boy, was this tested just this just in the last few hours. Wow. When I preach, you know why this is the ninth point? Because this just got to me really good. I had a conversation last night with someone in a whole nother state. And it was a rough one. It was a really rough one. You know, it's, it's a relationship that has not been intact. Somebody that I value and that I treasure. But because of lies, again, the devouring, mm -hmm. right? Because yes. of the devouring, there was a break in relationship. Yeah. And so for all these years, I've hoped for reconciliation. Yeah. And the phone call did not go like that. It was a really rough one. There was a lot of tears shed. Mm. And it was a tough night. It was a tough night because I had been praying for this. Now, I'm not, I'm not done praying for it to be restored. Right. But, and, but there was a lot of understanding that came through it. It was not all negative. There was mm. understanding because yeah. I, I understood more of what this person has been going through. And, and I'll be praying for this person. Mm -hmm. But it did not go the way I had hoped it to go. Mm. So what is my point? I added this point early this morning. Here it is. Number nine, to stand is to trust God and lay down your right to have to understand. Whoa. That's, that's really that's good. Because most of the time you think it's you, something yeah. you did, it's not even about you. And and actually, they're... You keep seeking for why, 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 yeah. why, yeah. why, 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 and I had to go, I had to walk through this last night because yeah. this is a law that I've preached before. Lay down mm -hmm. the right to need to know, lay down the need, let, right to need to understand. Right. Because most of us go, well, how could that happen? Why did that happen? And we will make ours. Right. Why did that why? marriage go bust? Why did that person leave our church? Why did this person say this about me? Why, why, why? why? You'll make yourself nuts. You got to lay down the right to understand and trust God. You'll never know. Yeah. Maybe you'll never know till heaven. Yeah. Maybe you'll find out someday, but it, lay it down. You got to stay in peace. Yeah. You don't need to understand. Who said you need to understand? Yeah. Yeah. What you need to do is trust God even when you don't understand. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. yeah. Lean not on your own understanding. But there it is. Yeah. Yeah. There's our verse. Let's read it together. Here we go. Proverbs 3, 5, and oh. 6. This <laughs> is the verse. That's it. And this, if you yeah, guys, this, head. this little oh, nugget is, know. this nugget is worth the whole day. Worth the whole day. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Trust, Trust in, in the Lord, Lord with all thine heart. heart. Slow down and, and lean not, not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him 
and he shall direct thy paths. There it is wow. again. There it is. Memorize that one. Woo. That is Some of you are going to get free and stay yes. free from this one nugget. Yes. You've had questions. Yes. How could this family member do this? Mm -hmm. How? Why did this happen? Yes. Why hasn't this happened? And you're making yourself sick in your thoughts mm -hmm. because you think that you have to know. Right. Who said you have to know? Let yourself off the torture rack. You don't need to know. What you need is to trust God. Give it to God. I had a lot of tears last night. This was a. This is a very important relationship in my life. Because it hurt. Mm -hmm. And it didn't go the way I wanted. Mm -hmm. But I had to quickly. Here, here's Pastor Brenda, right? I had to, I had to get through it. I have to learn to live in instant victory. So I'm not going to stay stuck that's, in that that's thing. Right. That's it could have wrecked today. A that's matter of fact, right. can I tell you, the kind of night I had last night, I was this close, this mm -hmm. close to sending a message to Lisa and posting something on Facebook, sending you a text to go, I'm not doing tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. This close. Oh, wouldn't the devil love that? Yeah. Because I was, I was crushed. Mm -hmm. And I kind of started going down that path of, Oh, I just, ah, ah, me, 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 right? How it felt to me. And I went, whoa, 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 I know better. Okay, so right. so it took about an hour and a half, really. Mm -hmm. And that's a long time for me because usually I get to victory much quicker than that. Mm -hmm. And I was hearing Brenda's voice. Learn mm -hmm. to live in instant victory. Maturity is getting to instant victory. Mm -hmm. Had I stayed in me, we would not be, you would not be listening to the sound of my voice right now. I would have canceled this study because I was still, I was so crushed. Thank it hurt God. so bad, oh which it did. But you see what I'm saying? It happens before you, Look like, at you. before you preach. preach. Before, yeah. Before you preach, before you go to worship, yes. before you go to prison ministry, before you do, Satan will yes. try to come in yes. and, and try to take your joy. Steal it. Get me off yes. task. Get no. me off my assignment. No. Wow, yeah. that hurt. That was painful. So? So? Do I have to understand why this person isn't? No, I don't have to. That's between this this person and the Lord. That's right. What I got to do is get back to instant victory and yeah. peace. That's yeah. why this is but, an anointed word. Yeah. Because I got to get. You I, head. You're right, I did. Yeah. And when I rose today, mm -hmm. I went to bed early. But when I rose mm -hmm. today, I'd already made the decision because I wasn't going to do that mm -hmm. quick. I, I already I already won by the time I went to bed. You had mm -hmm. the victory. I had the victory. Mm -hmm. And I went, no, 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 no. No, yeah. see, I'm not going to, I don't need no. to understand why that didn't go the way it should or the way I hoped. I just need to trust God and keep my eyes fixed on my mm -hmm. side. Focus. Mm -hmm. Focus. Right? Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, mm -hmm. I pray that for all of you today. Mm -hmm. That was my last few hours. But you know what? If you lay, it's just, it's amazing the burden that will come off you. If you just go, I don't need to know why. I don't need to know that. that I don't need to know. Problem. I don't need That's to understand why. That's a nugget. Why yeah. that didn't go that way or why mm -hmm. that didn't happen. I don't need to know why. It's not my business. Mm -hmm. What's think your of, business is Joe, you. What's your business is your peace. What's your business is your assignment. Yeah. What's your business is your mm -hmm. holy disciplines and your victory. Mm -hmm. What is your business is, is, are you going to let someone or something get you off task and get you to have a bad day? Mm -hmm. Heavens no. Get an instant victory. Mm -hmm. Mine wasn't so instant. It was about 90 minutes, <laughs> but I got there. Right. But praise God. God's going to get you there too. Hallelujah. I want to pray over you now. We've gone a little over time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I pray this has blessed you. I'm so glad when I listened to the Lord, yeah. you know, God said, no, no. Cause I kept reading. I'm like one verse. Okay. I've done that before. But he's like, right. no, one verse. Mm -hmm. But so this is it. Mm -hmm. This is what he wanted us to hear today and what he wanted us to yeah. learn today. Amen. I thank you for being a part of this. I thank you for sharing this. I thank you for being part of my Living by Faith family. I thank you for letting me pour into your life. I'm alive to help you grow and mature in the word of God. That is why that is my assignment. So I am so happy you're on this journey with yeah. me. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I pray for my friends right now. I pray that this word goes deep 
in your heart. I pray for you today that you lay down the right and the need to understand. Some things happen that we'll never understand. And you know what? And it's not even that we won't understand till heaven because in heaven we won't care anymore. Let it go. Lay it down and trust God. I pray for you to have courage to trust God. Mm -hmm. I pray for you to trust God and to rejoice in all things. Not for, but in. In the challenge, in the valley, in the trouble, that you will rejoice and let your gratitude and your worship be your warfare. Mm -hmm. I pray that you have courage to stand, to stand and to stand and to not step Mm -hmm. off Mm -hmm. and to not sit down, Mm -hmm. to stay put, courage to Mm -hmm. stay put so that you will be fruitful and that you will multiply Mm -hmm. and that you will flourish. Mm -hmm. I give you and I pray an anointed, I just prophetically say, don't let the devil let you look to the left or to the right. Today, focus on you, focus on where God is taking you. Don't look back even five minutes ago. Run hard for Jesus. Run hard for Jesus because he will fight for you when you when you get in the game. What is the game? No more excuses. No more blaming. Own your journey with God yes. and decide I'm going to be an excellent disciple. I'm yes. going to be a master level disciple. And then I'm going to be a master level disciple maker. Yes. I pray this over you today you, in the Lord. name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And amen. Woo. I love you so much. Woo. God bless you. Amen. Tune in next week. We'll see you super soon. Bye-bye. Love it. Mm. It was powerful. Yeah. It's definitely his spirit. Yep. Thank you, Jesus.